Hello everyone. So I wasn't too happy with how my last review video on this figure went. First off, I had messed up by filming it, you know, vertically instead of horizontally, so YouTube doesn't take that kind of video, and so it ended up reducing the quality to 360p, which was horrible. And I was kind of in a rush because I had to go to work, so I couldn't get too into the details of this figure, so I wanted to redo the whole video and do a proper review, so let's start out. First off, you've probably been wondering how the head sculpt on this figure is. Excuse the flash, but let us see. As you can see, they did a phenomenal job on the head sculpt. And I mean, over here I have the uh, butterfly head sculpt, if you're wondering how that looked. And they did a great job on that. And if you actually flipped around to the back, teeth are a separate part. They're actually painted so that you can see them visibly through the front view over here. So if you're wondering what the head sculpts look like, then here it is. They did very nice wash in the hair back here. And yes, I'll be placing this down. And over here, I'm going to go over the things that are stickers. So in this set, they actually give you stickers to place on certain objects, such as here's the tape stickers, and then the ones you just saw on the sun grenades are these right here. And those ones go on the rocket launcher, but I couldn't figure out where those go. Don't mind these black things in here. They're some form of belt buckle, but I could never figure out what they're supposed to go to. And on the side here, we have uh, instructions for how exactly to get the sleeve on top of Quiet's arm. So you may have been wondering how the sleeve mechanism works. It's actually like made out of a soft, shiny, leathery material. And so um, you have to roll this roll of tape stuff right here. It's more of a saran wrap kind of deal going on, but you want to wrap that around the arm tightly. And then the sleeve slides up a lot easier from there. And so, I mean, it looks a bit weird right now, the contrast between the head and the body, but that should be just because I applied a fresh layer of powder to keep it, you know, lint and dust from sticking. And you'll probably have read that trick from um, plenty of Fison forums. They recommend applying powder to these bodies so that lint and dust doesn't stick to them. Sorry about that. So um, over here, she actually does come with the ripped stockings, but I just like the look of the unripped ones a lot more. See the stand says Sinful Butterfly. So there's two versions of this to come out. There's a Sinful Butterfly and a Guilty Butterfly. And the Sinful Butterfly comes with a bit more accessories than the Guilty Butterfly counterpart does. So yes, oh, and this um, green utility belt is actually broken up into two compartments. This one is actually the gun holster. And then the belt is the, I mean the belt and then the arm straps, I want to say, are a different one. So yeah, you get, come with a knife. The knife is very nice. It's got some blood wash on it. Show you that right quick. Yeah, it's got some blood spatter. So they actually did a really nice job on that. Stun grenades, as I mentioned, just have stickers applied. And um, let's go down to the accessories. So over here, we have a magnet, which is, um, hmm. I couldn't actually figure out where this was supposed to go or what it was supposed to do, but I did find out that it connects a little bit above the magazine on top of the uh, rifle. So I guess at some point it was supposed to fit on her back, but I kind of wore down the sticky part of the styrofoam by accident, so it doesn't really hold on her back anymore. It actually comes with two of these silver bullets, but um, I actually have one inside the rifle, which I'll show you in a minute. And here's the quiet tape, which is... um. Comes with the string too, which I thought was neat, but anyway, um, yes, quiet tape. They actually put the stickers limb toys, it doesn't say quiet like it does in the game. And this hand was made specifically for holding the eye droid, you know, in the final part of the game when she has to call for help. Spoilers, but hey, if you haven't played a game that's four years old, it's on you. Relaxed hand, closed fist, a relaxed left hand, a left closed fist, and a kind of hand, you know, quite nice, quite fitting for a character named Quiet. And then over here we have the missile launcher. This is actually um, based on the last part of the game too. So a lot of these accessories have a, what is it, should I say, influence from the final portions of the game. Like whereas um, she hands this to Snake right before they get hit by the tank, which leads to the whole um, tragic ending because they end up both in bad shape and then the whole sandstorm comes and whatnot. 
And these are missiles that just go with the tank. There's actually supposed to be uh, stickers on the missile launcher, but I'm not too sure where those are supposed to be placed. And with the sinful butterfly, sorry, I just have this extra head chilling here. But um, you get an extra stand. It isn't much, but it's a diamond dog stand. I think it's supposed to mimic the uh, platform at Mother Base or that um, you know, character select menu. Yeah, you've probably been wondering. The boots are nice, very nice, and yeah, that co about covers all the accessories that come with this figure. So, um, anyways, I'll give you guys a rear view of how it looks before I go into the details of the rifle. So, belt pouches are actually a pain to get on or rather a pain to get to stick on so I'd actually recommend using crazy glue if you want it to be like a solid unit and you don't want certain parts falling off you might have to get some crazy glue I mean this figure was delayed for six months so they could get a lot of the quality control right and make sure the likeness was astounding but on the downside there's just some pieces that um, do come loose like on mine one of these belt buckles did end up coming out so I did have to glue it back in which I mean it's not too bad because I was able to glue it, but these belt pouches, they're going to come out because based on the way that they're designed. So you're going to want to kind of glue them once you've got them tight and secure. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I had to kind of glue down there. So yeah, once you pull it through tight and securely, then you want to glue it down if you don't want it to move. But if you want to be able to disassemble it, then don't feel free not to glue it, you know, by all means. And now I want to actually go into the rifle, but first here's another close-up of the face if you want to see the head sculpt. Anyways, into the rifle now. So over here we have the rifle. It is the Sinful Butterfly from Phantom Pain. And the detail on this thing is incredible. So if you actually lift up on this and pull it back, see it gets a little stuck at times, but if you lift up on this, kind of pull it back, and you twist it around, you can see there's actually a bullet that does feed into there. And the bullet already comes in there, so you don't have to worry about putting it in there. But on the downside, I will say that some parts of this gun are pretty fragile. And um, I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. But first off, um, if you want to, the scope actually does come off. And this um, little adjuster on the side does come off as well. So it's really customizable. You can really tweak it to your liking. And these stands, they actually do come down, but... On the downside, they are fragile, so one of mine actually ended up breaking, unfortunately. So I had to glue it, which is why I'm not going to end up pushing down one side in this review. So I'll just push it down. Sorry, you can't see, but right here. Yeah, as you can see, it does come down. Anyway, I'm just going to put that back up right quick. And the detail is just phenomenal. Barrel of the gun, everything as well, very nicely done. And I want to show you the magazine right quick. Alright, so this is the magazine that I just removed from the weapon. It's very nice. It um, does take some force to get out. And it looks like this bullet here comes out, but it's actually stuck. Because that's the way they designed it. So what you want to do from here is those extra bullets that they give you with the set. You can actually slide it in here and rest it in there. And then from there you can slide it back up into the rifle if you so please. And yes. I just recommend being careful with this rifle when you do decide to get the set because... Despite its, you know, hefty design, it is still delicate. And it always kind of made me wonder why they didn't just include the um, original rifle, you know, the one you see with in all the promo artwork and cutscenes. But I think it was just because Mr. Toys had released one of these sets a while ago, which came with the original rifle. So I guess they wanted to do something different. That and, you know, a whole bunch of the set was influenced on the later half of the game. So, I mean, it is cool and all, but... um. I really would like that original rifle, but if you do want that, you'll probably have to go out and buy the Mr. Toys set, which is like $100 itself, but I really don't feel like doing that, considering I just spent like almost $200 on this set alone. But yeah, if you do want to get the normal rifle, then definitely consider that. But anyways, I'm going to go back to quiet now. So anyways, just some more some things to note. Um, first off, the body that they recommend using with this set is a S19B Fison body, but... I didn't really like the build of that body. It looked too skinny for quiet, you know, who's supposed to be a trained assassin. So I ended up using the S23B. And it isn't, as I was saying earlier, it's not normally this pale, but I just applied a fresh layer of cornstarch on it. So it does look a lot paler, but it does keep a lot of lint from, you know, and dust from falling on it. Cause, because these bodies are made out of silicone, 
a lot of lint and dust does actually fall upon these figures. So yes, just keep that in mind. This is a S23B body, not the recommended S19B. But if you did want to um, get a body that's kind of in between, that has some of the muscular definition, but a little bit of the more leanness factor, then I would recommend getting the newly released S33B Fison body. It's got the best of both worlds. So I mean, I definitely want to try. I want to try. I would have tried that out, but rather I don't have that body at the moment, so I won't be doing that. And first off, I'm gonna say um, this box is huge. You're probably wondering how big this is. But over here, I have the Medicom RAH MGS4 Raiden box. And that kind of gives you a taste of just how big this is, as you can see. So despite it just being a set that doesn't include a body, it's still pretty damn big. And over here, I actually have a comparison to the Metal Gear Solid 4 Real Action Heroes Raiden. So you can see, once again, that this figure does have quite some size to it. And also... What you've probably been wanting is to see a comparison to the original Play Arts Kai Kwai, and I have that one right over here. So lastly, I want to compare this to the old Play Arts Kai one. So, take a look. $250-ish, if you count getting the set and the body, versus $250 and up for just a figure. I mean, the Play Arts Kai one is nice. It definitely does have more of a anime basis to it. But I think that the Limb Toys one kind of blows it out of the water by a distance. So um, I'd really recommend if you don't have the Play Arts Kai one, picking this one up straight away. And I know a lot of the, the only reason the Play Arts Kai one I feel really blew up is because people had said, you know, that online that they had like squishy breasts or something stupid like that. And it actually doesn't just to kill that rumor. It's actually made out of a very firm plastic. But this one over here is made out of silicone. So, if you really wanted that aspect of it, then go buy the TB League one in this set. I mean, it's not really my style, but yeah, you guys have probably been wondering, so I want to answer your questions. That's what I'm here for. And anyway, um, so yes, this one on the left is just an overall better deal, better detail, much more bang for your buck. And um, another neat thing about this one is because the body requires some assembly. That means you can actually change your outfit, like, um, in the game. I don't, if you wanted to, um, what's that called? If you want to, you know, dress her up as when she's chilling in her mother base cell, you could do that. Because the Fison bodies do come with, um, bare feet. So, if you wanted to do that, you could just, um, remove this hand over here. And the Fison bodies do come with bare hands as well. So, just apply the bare hands, bare feet, and take the vest off. Then you can actually have, the, you know, the normal mother base quiet. But if you also want to do the quiet rain scene outfit, then you can do that as well. If you just um, leave on this, remove the stockings, change the boots to the bare feet that come with the set. And yeah, you actually have a fully dressable quiet. And what you can actually do is there's probably going to be ways to customize and modify this. And there'll probably be outfits later on, you know, to reflect her um, XOF uniform, maybe a different head sculpt. Or people could probably customize, you know, her XOF hairstyle where she had, like, the hair without the ponytail. But anyway, I'm just getting ahead of myself. So there's just a whole bunch of, you know, endless possibilities with the release of this figure. So I want to kind of cover that and let you know just what can be done with this. So just remember, $250 totally customizable versus a whole uncertain set amount of $250 plus for just a figure, you know. This one on the left is more than just a figure, so if you want the best quiet figure on the market, then go ahead and pick this one up. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Peace.